there is always in, in my experience, and I'm sure some of you can relate, you know, you go into this life thinking, what is mine to learn? What is mine to learn? And that's a very real question. And it's a very real thing that we're all working with all the time. There's always a learning. There's always a deepening of our understanding. There's always a deeper opening. But it was so amazing to look at my experience from a different angle as what is mine to teach? And what came through for me wasn't necessarily like, oh, I should teach, you know, uh, something specific, like in the outer form. What was coming through to me um, through my spiritual self was what is mine to be an example of? When I think of, of some of the best teachers in my life, they are people who actually teach by example. And I began to meditate on, on that in my own life right here and now. And what wants to come forward in, in my experience um, and in my experience with the people around me? In thinking about this, what is mine to teach? Um, I looked at that. I, I felt a sense of responsibility. Because I don't know about you, but as in my awakening process, which is an ever deepening process, an ever greater knowing of my true identity, it's like, how do I help the people around me to know that for themselves? You know, obviously being the example is one thing, but I, I found that when I was thinking about that, this sense of responsibility is like, I, I must do that. That's my responsibility to be that, to be that uh, teacher, to be that example for the people in my life. And to really know from the depths of my soul that my very presence, the words that I speak, the actions that I take, are part of my teaching process. And that's the truth for all of us. Our world needs us right now to truly open to that, that higher knowing, the true being that we are, and allow that to come through. 